All right, <laughs> item number two. Um, <laughs> I accidentally launched a um, my original test thing. That's pretty loud. I apologize. Uh, so yeah, yeah. This is Assassin's Creed Bloodlines. I said I was gonna do this. This is, takes place a month after the first game. I said some stuff earlier, but I. Loaded the wrong save file. Now we're going to attempt to do this again. I'm going to let this cutscene play and I'll be back in a little bit. Uh, there's gonna be some weird audio issue, just ignore it. I'm pretty sure this has happened because I'm recording because I didn't have this issue when I originally tested out, so keep that in mind. Yes, Redbin. Yes. It's only out of Mr. Royal. This tutorial has been prepared in order to better acclimate you to the Animus' control system. Instructions will follow shortly. The Animus utilizes the Tuxedarian concept to control the actions of your ancestor. Unloading subroutines to validate your body's adaptation to the Animus. You will begin by exploring the default actions of each endpoint. Are there weird audio issues? Uh, Still some weird audio issues, so I'm not skipping oh, I'm skipping I'm skipping some I'm saying I'm uh, changing the settings to skip some frames real quick that still sounds kind of the same I'm just looking back to one all right uh we're on with the analog stick I'm playing this with a uh, Xbox controller, so I bumper, which is trigger for me because I've switched that shit. Uh, sprint, and then uh, yep, dramatic or high profile, low profile. Yep. Oh, good old Assassin's Creed stuff now. Since the PSP didn't have a second analog stick and this is running off an emulator, of course I had to do some button mapping. So, this is how we look around. Hit the buttons. Tap it to reset it. Yep. <coughs> By the way, I do own this game. So, uh, yeah. But uh, like I mentioned in the original playthrough, uh, unfortunately my 2000 series doesn't really work too well, so that's why I'm emulating the game. Here there's some audio issues, but I don't know if that's a issue with the emulation or the actual game itself. I didn't believe it until now. Please know that following the Assassin's Creed, your ancestors' way of life will assist you with staying in sync. The Creed, 
consists of three tenets. First, never hurt an innocent person. Second, always be discreet. Third, do not compromise the clan. Should you reach me, you can restore synchronization by reliving key moments of your ancestor's life, or by requesting a clue. Yeah, fix it. <laughs> did I actually fix the auto issue? Okay, yeah, apparently I did. I don't, I don't hear that weird static sound anymore. Okay, uh, not to self, skip five frames. That was weird. <laughs> I was skipping some frames, but it, it didn't seem like it helped. I did play a good bit of uh, Bloodlines, but I don't really remember too much of it. Plus, I, did, I didn't actually beat it. So, I apologize if I, I fuck up some things. Good old secretization. Shows your minimap stuff. Come on. There we go. There is a memory stick, which I don't have. Technically, it's saving the hard drive. Um, something about this game, there is. Let's just pause it. There are coins that you can kind of, that you can kind of see uh, on the very top, in the middle. So there are coins to collect and that stuff is basically to help upgrade Altair. Uh, it's not super necessary because you pretty much have like all the skills like right from the beginning, but it helps upgrade uh, health and shit like that. Also, you own the PSP, you can actually connect it to the PlayStation or the play yeah the PlayStation Three <coughs> in order to um, actually uh, what's it called to kind of unlock some stuff. I'm not really sure what unlocks because I don't own a PS3 copy of AC1. So I'm not too sure what it um, unlocks or gives. I'm guessing if you played the first game and be in it, it pretty much just gives you extra stuff. Kind of like in uh, Daxter. I know in Daxter if you connect your uh, copy of uh, Jack X, you can get some some neat stuff, As w and vice versa. Should be some coins. Yeah, there's a coin right here. One Templar gold coin. If I do that, you can see that I collected some coins. I'm pretty sure there's some down here. I keep trying to. Oh. I keep trying to switch the camera with the. Other thumbstick, but not the case. I think I used to get used to these controls. I remember I was a little bit used to it when I played uh, Ghost in the Show on uh, PSP because that g that game is actually pretty good. It's pretty it's better than the fucking PS2 port. It follows more of the uh, of more of the anime and the PS2 game is like kind of weird. It's kind of like it's kind of its own thing in a sense. I don't really like it, it doesn't capture the same feel as the anime. But that's just me. Some people may like it, some people don't. I thought the movie was meh. And I really prefer the uh, anime series. I need to finish it. Finish watching it. 
Oh, they want me to have the sword. Same old. Pretty much teaching you the bare minimum. Uh, counter, yeah. I'm trying to use the, 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 the fucking right analog stick to um, do stuff. Now, as I can switch to him, but I won't be able to do it right now. The bar coin. Silver one. Silver jump like coin. Saving to memory stick. Memory log updated. Memory log updated. Should be a coin right here. Yep. Look at that shit. Is there like anything else up there? No. Okay. Come on. <laughs> Am I stuck? I'm stuck on the wall. Mommy, um, uh, I'm just running through, stabbing people, all sneaky, sneaky like. There's a Templar coin over here. Look at that. Coins like over here. Just wondering. I'm pretty sure I skipped a few, right? It's not wrong with it. Yeah, like two. Uh, they're actually pretty useful in this game because um, they used to upgrade the, um, your stuff, like your health and crap like that. Bum, bum, bum. Boom, boom. Ow. I am try to counter that for some reason. Oh. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. First boss battle of the game. And it's against Maria. That character we seem to have a crush on. Where are my ships, soldier? I was told there would be another <coughs> fleet of eight. I'm sorry, Maria, but this is the best we could do. It's barely big enough to hold our cargo. How do you propose to get the rest of us to Cyprus? Begging your pardon, but it might be better if you stayed in Accra. What is that? A threat? It's fair warning. Ahmad Bouchard is Grand Master now, and he doesn't hold you in high regard. Why, you insolent... Very well, this ship is yours. I'll find my own way to lead us off. Yes, my lady. Damn. I was a single heartbeat from knighthood. 
now I'm little more than a mercenary. Fuck. The man who spared my neck but stole my life. Okay, I just wanted to make sure. You can't really cheese these games. Why do I still have my honey and blade though? You're not able to cheese bosses like you were able to do in the first game. Like if you remember you can just easily just counter them once and pretty much finish the boss fight. But you're not allowed to do that now, you actually have to counter, which is a bit annoying. I keep fucking up here for some reason. It's a little bit more delayed. It, well, not delayed, delayed. It's just like a. But yeah, it's actually delayed. You have to counter a bit. No. It's actually, considered delayed. Return to finish me off. No, you have to do it earlier. Yet. I want information. Why are the Templars sailing for Cyprus? It's been a long. Dirty war, assassin. Everyone deserves a holiday. The more you tell me, the longer you'll live. So I'll ask again, why the retreat to Cyprus? What retreat? King Richard has brokered a truce with Saladin, and your order is leaderless, is it not? Once we recover the Apple of Eden, you'll be the one running. I'll save my breath. The Apple of Eden is well hidden. Altair. Consider your options carefully. The Templars would pay you a great price for that relic. They already have, haven't they? My assassin bros. What's happening on Cyprus that would concern the Templars? Casually coming towards it, copying Civil me off. Strife, perhaps. Their Emperor Isaac Komnenis picked a fight with King Richard many months ago. And now he rots in a Templar dungeon. A pity. Isaac was so easily bent, so willing to take a bribe. Ah, those days are past. Now the Templars own the island, purchased from the king for a paltry sum. Ah, well, that's not the kind of governance we want to encourage. Do we have any contacts there? I know of one in Limassol, a man named Alexander. Send him a message. Tell him to expect me within a week. Yes, Altair. Fast forward memory to the most recent one. No? Remember that? God, look at those graphics. Jesus. Use me the hard on. Found in this artifact, I will discover it. But if it is only capable of inspiring evil and despair, I hope I possess the strength to destroy it. Then that he never destroys it. No, well, until. Absurdo accidentally destroys in the fire, which is, I, I'm surprised it's even a thing, because I, I expect the, it to be, like, fucking hard to destroy in the first place. Alright, so, they're pretty much, like, same format as the first game, but it's, like, a lot less. There's not, like, s no, it's actually kind of the same. It's, uh, seven blocks, but there's a lot less, uh, tedious. I guess you could say than like the first game because you're not doing like the same missions over and over again there's actually more variety this time side missions are just like one or two uh viewpoints is like one or two same thing there's not scattered around the city unlike the main entries of the game but yeah like i was saying um uh, if you own a ps3 uh you can transfer data like right there, transfer PS3 system data, but I don't own a PS3 copy as well as this is an emulation, which I'm pretty sure doesn't even, it, yeah, I don't think it's a thing. But yeah, you can upgrade your, your stats from collecting coins and doing side missions, which is probably what I'm going to do, because I kind of did that in the first game. Here, I kind of skipped the whole viewpoints and stuff like that. I'm since this is uh, more bite sized and there's not many viewpoints and I don't have to run across cities in order to do a bunch of viewpoints it I, I probably I may or may not cut it I'm not too sure yet uh, first thing we're gonna do is upgrade health we're gonna upgrade health and pretty much just health in general health and regen it's probably the main thing we're gonna do uh, and then after that probably uh, Chance maybe 
or damage. One of those two, I don't know. Upgrade health as much as possible. Uh, just only twice. Oh, didn't even actually take it back this time. Confirm. And I'm just going to... I'm probably just going to stop the video here and then continue with. So, that's the first episode of Assassin's Creed Bloodlines. Uh, it's probably going to be a relatively short series. More or less, or more or less the same amount as the first game, but shorter, I don't know. It's a PSP game. I can't really say much because I haven't really... I don't think there's really much to it, so... Whatever, first episode is pretty much done. I'll see you in a little bit. Bye-bye.